3D is a way to bring people places they've never been before. This is something very, very different. Brilliant audience, brilliant performance. You two in a way it's never been seen. It takes your breath away. It's a new art form. This is a truly independent film. Started with an idea, started with an emotion, started with a desire to look for that one opportunity to create the greatest 3D experience that could ever happen for an audience. And what would be better than recording the Vertigo tour? What would be the best way to show people how different this experience is, how realistic it is, how immersive it is, and how much it amplifies what goes on in front of the cameras? What would be the best subject matter? If we could really pie in the sky, think of the greatest thing that you'd want to see. And the first came, thing came to mind was U2 in 3D. I just think it's really great that people can get to go and see a U2 show without, you know, all the chaos that comes with the U2 tour, and people not being able to get tickets, or people on the black market being charged fortunes. It's very difficult to get into a U2 show, sadly, and it should be a lot easier to get in to see U2 3D. Day. 3D is what we actually see when we use our right eye or our left eye. It is called stereoptic vision. We actually see things dimensionally, spatially in front of us. 3D in the entertainment world is taking that and using it as a tool to talk to the audience. Each 3D rig is two cameras. They represent both your eyes. So with both your eyes, we are conveying what you see in life in 3D. So we are taking both your eyes and converging them to a point which is comfortable for you to view. Cameras were being designed purely for this. We were flying by the seat of our pants, it would be fair to say. We planned where we were putting the cameras each night. After that, we made it up as we went along. And we have people working the cameras that have remote controls. The cameras are always moving when we shoot. This is brand new technology, and that's what's interesting for us. I mean, we only really get excited when, when we are offered an opportunity to do something that's never been done. This was a totally new experience. And in 3D, a live concert takes on a whole different dimension. I can see how 3D technology will change filmmaking, but I think this use of it is extraordinary. The moment in Sunday Bloody Sunday when you're on the stage with the band and all of the ambient sound is, is drained out, and so you feel for that few seconds like you literally are close enough to, to touch the band and you feel in such an intimate uh, space with, with the musicians. It's really or be touched or be touched. By. It's, I'm trying it's actually. I'm trying to put my hand, hand yeah. through the I don't know what you call it, the fifth wall or whatever it is. You know, you're putting your hands through, and it happens. I think in Sunday Bloody mm. Sunday. I think for the first time in Milan, it was very powerful. I didn't think it could get any higher than that. But strangely, in Latin America, there's something about the opera mm -hmm. that, the, that the people love. And, and the way that it, it's shot is it's just shot from the distance. I wouldn't mind going to a U2 show myself. I've never been to a U2 show, and this is probably the closest I'm going to get.